We're here at Air Venture and we found a new engine that looked really good and we wanted to find out some more about it. I'm Dan Johnson and I'm speaking with Guillaume Mellard, but you could just say William. William, yes. William Hi. works for America, so. Yeah. Well, welcome to Oshkosh. Is it your first visit? Yeah, my first time in Oshkosh. Excellent. Well, you brought a very handsome product here. And uh, we talked about this a little before, so I'll do a bit of background. You're in development with it now. Yeah. Uh, you expect to come on the market in 2016. Correct. So you've got two variations of the engine, two powers, and uh, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, we've got two powers. So this one is a 100 uh, brake horsepower, one liter uh, engine, and we are planning to go up to 1.2 liter to 136 brake horsepower because we feel that there is demand for higher performance engines, so we believe that this engine should be uh, able to maybe to create a new market. Now you're using the V-twin construction. Uh, where do you, where did you come up with this idea? The V of victory. No, I'm joking. <laughs> That's good though. Uh, it helps people no, remember. <laughs> because we are looking for weight, this uh, engine should be around uh, 120 pounds. Okay. And uh, so less uh, cylinder is less weight, and the V shape is interesting because of integration. And uh, we have some record in the bike industry also in our company, so ah, we know okay. well, the, well the V balancing issues. Yeah, you're not just, uh, this is a new development for me, but uh, for you, but uh, tell me what you're doing uh, that pays the bills today. Today we are uh, 40 people and we are doing uh, engines for motorsports industry, mainly for European OEMs. And uh, we have. And what uh, kind of vehicles use the engines you make today? Uh, we make a lot of uh, circuit and rally uh, engines. We have done the engines for Bikes Peak uh, Colorado with uh, Sebastian Loeb, okay. for example. And so we small, are small race cars, basically. Yeah, small, yeah. small race cars for Europe. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Now, uh, you're here with the French Pavilion. You also work with the uh, 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 Duke Elise uh, propellers. You can come back to, well, I'll ask you some questions about that, but I want to touch on your larger engine because you told me a very interesting fact, William, that about the weight so tell me about the larger engine you're planning and how it compares with this one especially in weight yeah the weight uh, we target 120 pounds around and uh, we want to make a larger engine 136 horsepower keeping the same weight targets you can it's keep the important. same weight yeah or close a, anyway it would be close uh, that's a it's that a will make that very interesting even at 120 pounds you're very competitive with 100 horsepower that's a light weight um, and is the V-Twin contributing to that lightweight? Yeah, because the V-Twin uh, has been engineered from scratch. So we have uh, anticipated uh, enough uh, material and displacement to go to higher... Uh, uh, to higher power. Higher power yeah, uh, yeah. at the beginning. And uh, this engine is double spark, uh, double ignition system. Okay, yeah, I see the two plugs down here. So, uh, yeah. uh, and you're using liquid cooling? Yes, liquid cooling. Exactly. Because it's, it's a very compact engine and it looks like a familiar motor mount to me. Yes, so we have decided also to be uh, efficient uh, and realistic. We have uh, anticipated the possibility to assemble this engine. Sure, so some of the manufacturer then just provides some uh, steel structure that mounts to this. Yes, it's okay. similar to other uh, engines existing already on the market. Okay, well that's good thinking. Now you had a little bit of background, you were doing some work with the Rotax engine. with. Uh, um, uh, with an injection system, I believe you told me. Yeah, because uh, many uh, Rotax engines exist, uh, 80 to 100 uh, brake horsepower. I've got uh, MCR Dinairo engines uh, at home, and uh, we have developed an uh, injection kit uh, with our own ECU because we make our own electronic. You make your own EC, your own electronic control unit is what that phrase means, and you, you're doing that yourself. That's usually done yes. by someone else. No, since 20 years we make it in-house with our own uh, mapping, so... Again, for the other products you make, you are already doing this, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, correct. So you're still in bench testing of the uh, engine, but you've got a lot of background. Can you then project, William, uh, what the time between overhaul, the TBO, will be? So the TBO uh, target is the same as Rotax, 2,000 hours, okay. which is uh, something that we need to achieve. So we have engineered these engines to be in this uh, perspective also. So you're anticipating getting on the market with an engine in 2016. Correct. After you've done testing and put it on airplanes, you're going to put it on the MCR at first? Yeah, in spring next year, uh, we'll put it on MCR first, make the first in-house testing that we are doing for electronic. 
ECU uh, for injection kit and uh, later on we have already some uh, interested uh, manufacturer in Europe I see, okay. Schaffen, and uh, we will work together with uh, four to five uh, manufacturers to make uh, flight testing. So you'll probably start in Europe and grow out of the European market to other markets, is that correct? Yes, correct. Okay, good. Well, we have a lot of our American airplanes, as you know, I'm sure, are coming from Europe, so uh, we expect to see some of your engines uh, in the future, William. Um, let's uh, go to a web address. We'll put it on the screen for people, but uh, we've given a lot of information, but so they can follow your progress and get more information and contact you. Where do they go on the web, William? So they can come in a website. Uh, we have a Sodimo website uh, that will be updated with the things going on with the engines. And uh, we have also a newsletter. So if people want to drop a mail to me, I will keep them informed, okay. like you. Okay. Sounds and good. Uh, I hope that in Oshkosh next year we'll be back with a running engine, hopefully in a plane. Well, uh, so we have the web address. You can go find that information out. I'll have coverage of this as we go along. And lots of other light support aircraft engines and aircraft are available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for visiting here at Oshkosh with William and I. Merci, Guillaume. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Cheers.